Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to do multi-point tracking in Adobe After Effects. This will be good for like object tracking. If you look through our video here, you can see that our motorcycle is rotating. What we're going to want to do is try and get our text to rotate along with the motorcycle. So how we're going to achieve this is go ahead and select the point at where you want to start your tracking. You know, just kind of leave the time timeline there. Right click, new, null object. Make your new null object and then click on your video layer open up your tracker click track motion and what you're going to do for multi-point tracking is you're going to check rotation and you can do scale too if you want to scale if the object is moving closer or further away from the camera then you can use scale but for this tutorial we're just going to do position and rotation so it'll give you two track points you're going to want to set your track points up on two areas that you want to track and this will compile the rotation data so go ahead and line up your first tracking point with uh, the point, a good tracking point. We got our first point set. Go ahead and click your second point. And the inner box is the one that it's going to be tracking and looking for since this is a pixel tracker. This is going to be looking to match the pixels that is inside that box. And the outside box is the search box. So it, that will tell After Effects to search in this outer box for basically what's in the inner box. So you have your two points picked and you're going to want to go ahead and track the motion. What you're going to do is go down back to your tracker window and click the play button, analyze forward, and this will start to capture the motion data. You can see it's tracking our two points. Sometimes it messes up and it jumps off. So sometimes you got to kind of play around with and, and check your different points and find out which ones are going to track the best. So it's tracking our points here. Once we get like a good track, go ahead and hit stop, edit target. You're gonna apply that to the null layer we created, hit OK, and click apply. And this will copy over the tracking data. You can see it adds all these uh, keyframes of the motion into our uh, things. You can go ahead and shrink those down. Now we're gonna wanna add our text. Go right click new and text. Go ahead and type in our text that we're going to have. And go ahead and line that up on with our motorcycle. You want to line that up. You can hit R and that will let you uh, do a rotation or anything like that if you want. Get your text kind of positioned over top. Once you do that, go ahead and uh, click the little squiggly line next to your parent. Drag that down to null. Or you can just click this drop down box and select your null. Either or works. And once you have that selected, you can go ahead and we can preview our tracking. And you'll see that it follows along the tracking path that we made. Now, if you want to make it disappear, you know, you don't want the point that's not tracking, you don't want to see. So when it starts to move, just go ahead and trim your clip up. And then when it stops, trim your clip up. Go ahead and preview. And as you can see now, the text follows the motion pass that we had set up. So it looks like it's following the object. And that is how you do multi-point tracking in Adobe After Effects once you finish it. Go ahead and go up to Composition, add to Render Queue, render your file out, drop it into Premiere, whatever you want to uh, edit with. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please check out my channel for some other After Effects and Premiere tutorials to uh, show you how to do some more things, single-point tracking, and some other cool stuff. Thanks for watching.